All right, how you doing guys? In today's video, I wanna show you what is going to look like the future of image editing with Photoshop in the near future, in very near, near future. So stay tuned and let me introduce you to the new features, which are still in a beta, but they are coming soon. The first thing that you're going to see when you download the beta version is the same beta, of course. The icon of the program is also different, but let's dive into the new features. The first tool that I want to test, actually when you open the software, the first thing you can see is this floating bar here, which has a different options. You can also see some new features like adjustments, which are uh, something like the filters in smartphone applications, but you can see everything here is on uh, separate layers and you can adjust it if you want. But this is probably one of the smallest changes that you are going to see here. So let me revert this file and introduce you to the remove tool. The remove tool is doing this you just click drag and wait and again you see everything is filled with this ai algorithm that is using adobe firefly and actually this is saving you tons of work let's try with another one with something which should be much easier you see, I'm not uh, giving it too much in the selection. There it is, it's gone. There it isn't. You see, now we have only the shadow, which also could be removed very easily. And voila, this is it. So that was the remove tool. I have a new image opened. Now I'm going to make a selection somewhere. It doesn't matter where. And from this floating small window, I'm going to click first, let me show you that from here you can select border, select selection, smooth selection, expand selection, contract selection, feeder selection, and so on, even turn on the select and mask menu. You can transform the selection, flip horizontally, vertically, or just hit generative view. And from here, all you have to do is type your prompt, which could be, for example, NASA spaceship, and just click generate. And just like that, from nowhere, now you have a spaceship or something that looks like a spaceship. And if you click on Window Properties, actually it's here, it's, it's turned on. You can see that, as usual, you get three different results and you can choose from one of them. You can click on Yes or No. So this is going to be a feedback to the team who is working on this AI feature on Adobe Photoshop. You can say Good Result and keep it. Or if you don't like them, you can click Generate again. So you have three more, you see, practice makes perfect. You have a different options to experiment. Some are good, some not so good. Let me try this with another image. So with this photo, I just want to select the subject. You know, we have this feature from before. From now on, I can do many things, uh, make a mask, remove the background, but I just want to expand. Actually, I want to contract the selection with uh, three pixels. Select the inverse, Command Shift I and click Generative Fill. And now I want to write Sunny Tropical Beach and click Generate. Let's see, let's move this young lady to the beach. Yeah, not bad. We just have to refine additional details. Don't forget you have also a couple of options and you can generate the new ones if you don't like this. If you click on Adjustment, of course you can make adjustments on the whole picture. Click More, Landscape, Photo, Repair, Black and White, Cinematic and so on. Let's try with one more. Now here, I'm going to make a rough selection around his head. Click Generative Fill and type Robot Head, for example. Click Generate. And just like that, you see the light, aspect ratio, everything. You see? This is crazy. Not perfect, but crazy. And take a look at this. This is another one photo. And here I want to add missing information. For example, if you haven't cropped your photo the right way. All you have to do is go to the crop tool, make the exact size, then make a rough selection, square, doesn't matter, generative fill, and write ice covered land generate. You see, it's matching even the light, the sunset light. I'm going to open again this to show you all the features together. Let's first remove some unnecessary objects. Let's say I want to make this a landscape photo. 
also these guys now let's go to crop tool and let's say i want to add one third from left and one third from the right or something like this click select shift select generative fill if you don't want to input nothing you just have to click generate wow And if you want to make it even more interesting, let's um, make a selection, for example, here. Generative fuel, ice climber. Nice. Yeah, you see? Everything on a separate layer. If I turn only this one layer, you see how it looks. I would also like to add more pixels, something like this. Make a new selection, generative fuel, and say ice lake with reflections click generate and we have again a couple of options which are looking good so you just have to decide you don't have much to do with this new feature of adobe photoshop beta okay i just want to try one more first let's add some space click enter to confirm select subject command shift i to invert the selection let's go to generative view prompt and write night street yeah interesting it's matching even the perspective what do you say i can click here let's choose trash bin for example and see what's going to happen yeah a couple of options not perfect but if you pay attention you're going to see that it's they're matching the light what i want to do now is select the sky click generative view and choose sunrise so basically i'm just typing some things here and waiting for the results and then i have to choose the result it's pretty good the future of the graphic designer what do you think i, I just don't know what to say you know one two three if I have to describe the magic, yeah, this is it. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Peace.